It seems as though every bird in the city has migrated to this lot. Lines, lifts, and jump logos seen here too. As you can see, it, it makes for uh, quite a view. All these scooters taken off the streets between just last Thursday and Sunday. We had a geofenced area where we weren't allowing scooters or uh, bikes uh, to be left by either companies or their users. Here's what the area looked like all mapped out. The red area, the property the convention center sits on. The yellow, the surrounding blocks of the gas lamp district. If the users are using them in here, uh -huh. you know, the max speed is three miles per hour. And so if, like, let's say but they can't leave them in here either. They have to be left outside of that. The city confiscating 2,500 scooters and they find the companies $65 for each one. The city tells us one company's already picked up their scooters, about 600 units, $40,000 worth. But look what's left. Yeah, we're talking serious money, about $200,000 worth. We don't want to make a profit. We're just trying to recover uh, the cost. So far, the city says Lime and Jump have been willing to pay to get theirs back. The bird has given them the silent treatment. The streets around the gas lamp district a little less cluttered Monday as a result. It sucks that the company is being faulted for consumers using. Scooter rider Janet Fennell says scooter companies need to warn riders to stay away from restricted areas. But her friend Eric says it wouldn't change his plans. Probably just run the risk a little bit here and there. You yeah, know, why not? You're $65, right? It's really not.